President Obama's favorite novelist, Toni Morrison, once famously told a newspaper in London that she wanted to see a white man convicted for raping a black woman. Well, that's very rare because the ratio of black on white rape to white on black is about 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 to one. Just like these two stories. She also tells us that uh, he cut off part of some of her fingers, and this will no doubt make it difficult for this graphic designer to work for quite some time. Late Thursday night at about 3 a.m., I woke up and found a man in my apartment. Last week, Lee Collins says she was brutally attacked in her Santa Monica apartment by a suspected home invasion robber. Police say 25-year-old Rashad Harris broke into her ground floor apartment through a window. He held me at knife point and wanted money. Um, I gave him money and he attempted to rape me. In a social media post, the 20-something graphic designer talks about how she managed to fight him off, but not before he gave her a black eye and stabbed her several times in the forehead and arms. I have another maybe four or five inch stab wound on my forearm, my right forearm. Another about the same length and width on the back of my left tricep. Um, one uh, stab injury to my left elbow that went down to the bone and cut through the tendon. She says he also cut off part of her left ring finger and pinky. But the doctors were able to reattach the tendons and the blood vessels on both of those and I'm gaining feeling back on those every day. Police tell us they arrested Harris a few days after the attack. They say Harris, who's a pro Lee, left behind a trail of blood and other evidence, which helped detectives identify him quickly. Meantime, Collins assures friends and family from her hospital bed that she's healing and going to be all right. I have a room full of people around me, of people that I love very much, and they're helping. And they've been amazing, and I wish I could be with all of you. Mm. And Harris has been booked on several charges, including robbery, attempted rape, kidnapping, and assault with a deadly weapon. I know the people who watch these videos don't really like when we see intense videos like this. It's, it's just a fact. People would rather see softer videos, even though nobody's down with the black crime and violence wildly out of proportion. Nobody's down with the fact how reporters and public officials are in denial, deceit, and delusion about it. People just are loath to hear these stories like the one from Santa Monica or this one from Dallas, just as nasty as you can get. We could do a hell of a lot more of these stories if we chose. But we don't. For the, for, for the reason I just told you. Even so, every once in a while, we have to remind people what is going on out there, what the stakes are, who are the targets, who are the predators, and it's entirely different than what we see on television, where their main goal is just reporting the news without making the black kids angry.